is once you do these things to increase test production, then you can start to reverse some of these symptoms. How does testosterone affect workout results? Hey man, Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. In today's video, I wanna talk about why testosterone is such a key component for building muscle especially for someone who's over 40, man. First, before I get into the specifics of how your test levels can affect your workout results, I wanna tell you how you can quickly and easily get your own test levels checked. And for you guys that don't know this, I have a very successful one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I get to work with over 60 amazing men, ranging in ages from 45 to 79. Now I've recommended on numerous occasions that my clients know where their T levels are so they can see first how their hormones are currently functioning and second that the proof is in the pudding when it comes to my coaching program. I like for them to see an increase in their overall testosterone levels while they're going through my program so they can see the full benefits of my program. With that said, I wanna say a special thank you, man, to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. Let's Get Checked makes professional health testing easy. They let you get tested without having to visit a healthcare provider, and this allows you to avoid uncomfortable and inconvenient office visits by providing you with access to home testing and medical consultations without even having to leave your home. You simply choose your test online, and it gets delivered in a discreet package with next day delivery. Once your sample arrives to the laboratory, your confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days, so it's extremely quick. If you're interested in getting your test levels checked, we'll put a link in the description box below so you can get yours ordered. Also, make sure you use our code, man, anabolic30, to get 30% off of your kit. All right, now if you didn't already know this, as an older man, your test levels have been declining for years. The good news is though, there are some things you can do to help increase your test levels naturally, which I'll go over in just a minute. But first, testosterone is a vital hormone for a man. It's responsible for the development and maintenance of most male attributes. So naturally, when your T levels start to decline, it's common to start accumulating a little more body fat. You start losing muscle and strength, have a low libido, you get irritated easily, you can lose confidence and even get depressed. Now, the other side of that is once you do these things to increase test production, then you can start to reverse some of these symptoms. You can increase strength and lean muscle tissue because testosterone increases neurotransmitters which encourage tissue growth. You can develop stronger bones due to increased strength. You can also start to melt the body fat off because test plays a role in fat metabolism. And the more muscle you are able to put on your body, the more fat your body will naturally burn at rest. The first thing you wanna focus on to help increase your test production is losing some body fat. You wanna start eating whole foods that are dense in vitamins and minerals, start eliminating all the fried foods, the fast foods, and other processed foods. Then start eating in a slight calorie deficit to keep your body in a fat burning mode. I also recommend incorporating two or three high intensity interval workouts per week. These can be done on a bike, a treadmill, outdoor sprinting, or even doing something like mountain climbers or burpees will give you the intensity you need to ramp up your test levels. Basically, I recommend starting at 15 to 20 second sprint intervals followed by a 40 to 45 second rest period. You can do this for five to 15 total intervals depending on your current starting conditioning level. Make sure you do a five minute warm up first though. Do a low intensity warm up to get some blood flowing and get your heart rate up a little prior to going into your first all out sprint. In addition to the high intensity interval training, you also wanna make sure you're utilizing resistance training between three and five days per week. Make sure you're using compound movements within each workout to maximize your overall test production. 
Another method that I personally incorporate into all my clients' programs is my Tricon training. I developed Tricon training years ago specifically for men over 40. There are a ton of benefits with my Tricon sets because you incorporate three different types of contractions with each set. They also have an isometric component, which isometrics have been shown in studies to significantly increase testosterone levels. If you're new to this channel and you haven't seen any of my Tricon exercise demonstrations before, then check out some of our other videos on Tricon training. You can just search Gary Walker Tricon training and several of my videos will show up and you can watch how to implement my Tricon exercises into your current workout programs. All right, before I wrap up this video, man, I gotta mention sleep. Seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night is crucial to maximizing your test levels. Improving sleep will improve testosterone levels. Make sleep a priority and start incorporating some of these other changes and I know you will start having optimal testosterone production. And again, if you wanna know your actual test levels, then please go to the link in the description box below and order your test kit. So that way you know exactly what you're working with and where you're starting. With that said, thanks for watching this video. And as always, man, get busy, get after it, and God bless.